Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Xbox Live um, through your PC so you don't have to buy a wireless adapter for your Xbox which is um, expensive and a rip off to be honest. Um, all you need is your Ethernet cable and your computer has to be wireless otherwise if the router is close enough for you to get com uh, wired on your computer then you may as well just put an Ethernet cable straight to the router. So chances are it's going to be wireless. So um, all you need is an Ethernet cable, make sure it's long enough and it will reach your computer and your Xbox. Obviously your Xbox and a PC with a wireless adapter to your router. So all you do is take your Ethernet cable, plug it in to the back of your Xbox as you would normally do. Okay, mine's broke, but make sure it stays in properly. Okay, and then take the Ethernet cable all the way to your computer and then, oh, I don't think you can see this, but let's get my iPod to see if I'll make it pop down. Okay, so what you want to do is simply plug the other end of the Ethernet cable. Let's see. That. Okay, let's see if we can see. Plug the other end of your Ethernet cable into your computer, like so. And now I'll show you on the computer what you need to do to get that connection up and running. Okay, so now you're on your computer, what you want to do is go to uh, Start. Remember this is on Vista, so it could be different for you. Go to Control Panel, then come to a uh, Network and Internet. Network and Sharing at the top. Then it left hand side, manage network connections, and you'll see there's an X. If there's an X there, your Xbox isn't turned on. Um, if it's got a, a bar or a tick or something, I don't know, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure, um, then it means it's connected, but it just says it's unplugged, but it's, it's only because your Xbox is turned off. So when you come on, you should see that there's two, um, there's two of these. If you have more, what you want is the wireless network, local area connection. Make sure you haven't got. Um, multiple uh, Ethernet cables on your computer if you have make sure you know which one you're choosing so what you want to do is highlight them both by holding control and clicking both of them or you can just simply highlight them both like that clicking and dragging right click bridge connections now Vista has have to ask these permissions so I'm just going to do, let it do that and just let it bridge the network between the wireless and your Xbox so now your internet will go off if you're connected to the internet and then you've got to wait okay. okay so I should be connected to that okay so let's just check okay so the internet's up and running now what you want to do is wait for until that says connected now you want to go to your Xbox and turn it on. You've got it all connected back up to your Xbox um, and you've done it on the computer. Just go and turn go ahead and turn your Xbox on. Okay. And there you go, I've already immediately signed into Xbox Live. If yours doesn't, then simply go um, go to your Xbox um, section, go all the way along, system settings, network settings, go down to uh, test Xbox Live connection, find out the problem, and then, well really, if you click on test, it should solve any problems itself. And then go back, back, back to the dashboard, and then sign in to Xbox Live. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I uh, hope you found it useful. Um, I will be making more, so please subscribe, rate, and comment.